Hey there YouTube, uh, this is Paul. Um, finally got around to making my first video uh, that I'd share on my channel. Um, really was thinking about uh, something else for my first vid and basically a thank you to the Knife EDC uh, community out there. But, uh, you know, saw Smoke Eater 908's uh, Spiderco collection where he requested a video response as well. So I thought, hey, you know, this is a perfect uh, video for me to get my feet wet, so to speak, um, here in the, you know, sharing videos on YouTube. Um, you know, I was uh, somewhat of a collector a long time ago, stopped for about the last 11 years and just got back into it um, earlier this year, uh, around March. And I uh, really want to thank all you guys. I'll still make a video about this, but just really want to thank you guys for all the videos that you guys share from reviews, unboxings, testing, where it's helped me make decisions on which uh, knives to purchase and uh, you know which knives not to, actually. So, uh, thanks again. But with that said, uh, let's go ahead and get started so it won't take too long. And I also won't really go into detail of this collection. I think there's so many uh, reviews out there and videos out there of people who are really good at this um, so uh, I'll get started but also wanted to ask one last thing and uh, forgive me for any um, lack of quality or presentation skills at this point again my first one I'm sharing and so hopefully uh, this will be okay thanks guys first one I'll start with is the Spyderco spider card uh, you know that's what you call a different style warrant cliff I guess um, I actually carried this in my wallet for a little bit. It's a little thick, but it does uh, fit in the wallet. Uh, just a thicker credit card, I guess. Next one is a Dragonfly VG10 Steel. Even for the size, it's a two and a quarter inch uh, blade. But because of the thumb ramp right here with the jumping and the curved handle, it really feels good in hand, actually. Uh, this is the knife I have my wife carry on her or in her purse because of the weight and size. Uh, she doesn't mind at all. Next one, uh, for the next three actually, it's the inexpensive line of Spider Co's. The um, always wanted these, but when it came out in blue, I just you know really had to have them. First one is the ambitious. My 11-year-old son claims uh, this knife, so don't want to argue with him too much. Next one is the persistence. Love this knife. Two and three-quarter inch blade. I think, you know, two and a three quarter inch to so about three and a half inch for me is perfect EDC. I can kind of fluctuate within those uh, uh, blade lengths. Um, the one here that's really earned its reputation for high value knife, the Tenacious. Um, tons of videos out there. Um, really nice. You know, nice liner lock, no stick. Uh, smooth. Um, I can see why everyone loves that knife. The next one is a Oli Spyderco Delica 2. I believe this might be the first Spyderco I ever bought, actually. It's all stainless, uh, Seki City, Japan made. Next one is a newer one, Spyderco Delica 4, a flat grind, blue handle. I love these guys. You know, if you live in a municipality or, or city where they have strict knife laws as far as blade length, you know, a lot of times the Delica is one that I recommend, under three inches, solid knife, and for the price, it's it's great. Um, another Delica with the Emerson Wave. Next one is a Spider Curl Endura with the ATS55. I believe this is discontinued. Um, never really carried it or or used it. Um, it's pin construction, but real solid, no play. Um, actually liked that and so I ended up buying the new Endura 4 orange hand life this one I've carried a little bit um, I don't do too much cutting you know I'm not in an environment where I cut uh, a lot of crazy crazy things but I do use my knives uh, lightly uh, next one is the Spyderco Techno this one's a little bit stiff as far as opening I don't know if I'll have to um, adjust the pivot screw a little bit but I do love this knife. Um, two and a half inch blade, really nice, real thick. Uh, those, uh, I think what they call little big knives. Um, love the geared blue G10 backspacer wire clip. Really nice. 
Next one is the Sage 2. Now this one's really smooth. One of my smoother knives. I actually love the, the action on this. Um, yeah, can't recommend this highly enough. Titanium. Beautiful. Next one is the Spyroco Zulu. Astro Design. Oversized spidey hole. Real smooth. Um, real nice in hand. Uh, just at 3 inches. Like that blade. Next one is the PPT. Modified Warncliffe. Really nice. Um, love how it feels in hand as well. A couple of things, you know, I've heard as far as protruding tang where people might change that, but I, I like that. Next one is a Manix 2 Lightweight. It's blue. And really like this knife. It's really light. Uh, lives up to its name. CTS BD1 Steel. Like that. Carry it a little bit. Next one is the Stretch Carbon Fiber with ZDP 189 Steel. Real thin blade, real slicer, real, really nice. It's peel ply. So it's uh, not my favorite type of carbon fiber, but uh, it's nice. Next one is the Nishigen R. I uh, gotta thank our buddy Muddy for this one. He gave me a great deal, so had to pick it up. Nice leaf design, really unique handle on there that glass fiber it's nice the next ones are the PM2 I was gonna say soon to be classic but it might be classic already everyone should have one of these just really nice compression lock love compression locks and this is the one with the black blade digi cam handle uh, this is one of my favorites here of all my collection not just Spyderco the M390 um, PM2 blue handle sprint run Next one, let's go to the Spyderco Chinook 1 CPM 440V. Um, really a tank of a knife. Uh, probably one of the biggest and heaviest ones or thickest ones that I have in my collection. Uh, I believe these are discontinued. Um, I know there's, they were up to three, but this one was when it just came out. Same here, uh, Spyderco Gunting. Discontinued as well. This is Brown Frank design. Really small blade to handle ratio, but if you look at Bram Frank and his intended applications for this knife, you'll understand why. This has been my main EDC for the past 10 plus years. Carried that more than any other knife I have. Oh, and before I move on, here's a little Jason that my son asked for me to put in the videos. Um, so, here he is. You might see him more than once, especially if my son's around, to make sure that he's happy. Next one's another discontinued uh, model. It's a numbered Masada Yub. It's got the smooth, you know, I'm not exactly sure if this is a uh, my card or, or what this handle is, but it's again over 10 plus years old, pistol grip style. Um, again, Ayub uh, designed it as well. And last but not least, the Yujimbo 2. Love this blade. Um, designed by Michael Janich. Um, really a great self dependent defense uh, weapon if you look at what he intends as far as applications thick blade nice thumb ramp and this is sharp really sharp as evidenced by uh, my pinky here this now has the honor of um, having more of my DNA than any other knife I've ever had as far as blood and, and guts in there um, and that's it I have one in pre-order which I'm really excited about the southern flipper not sure exactly when that's coming though and um, this collection might change. There's a couple of th ones here that I feel like, you know, maybe put it up for sale eventually. But uh, till then, um, hopefully you enjoyed the knives. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks guys and talk to you soon.